What's up everyone, Tom from Techstream here and welcome to another video. Today, thank you to the guys over at Cherry, we're taking a look at their MX Board 1.0. First of all though, as always, roll on that intro. So you all have probably heard of Cherry. Cherry are the people that make the switches, the genuine Cherry switches behind most reputable gaming keyboards. There are obviously alternatives like Kale and certain brands make their own, Razer make their own, uh, Logitech make their own, or have their own types of switches. But this board here is actually made by the original switch makers, Cherry. And it is the MX Board 1. And today we're going to take a quick look at it. I've, I've had this board here for a about a week and I've just been playing around with it, did some gaming with it, did some editing and playing around, just some general messing around with the actual keyboard. And I must admit, I've actually really, really liked this keyboard. Cherry have gone out and done, well they've been very German. Um, Cherry are a German brand, this is a German keyboard. It's just plain simple and it does what it is set out to do. That is it. So. This is the MX Board 1. It's a full 104 key keyboard. It is available as a 10 keyless version. Basically, there's not a lot to really tell you about it because basically there's an attachable wrist rest which just clicks onto the bottom. I found this made the keyboard a bit too wide. To me, the wrist rest is a bit on the deep side, but there's a wrist rest include, included, MX logo, and it just clips into the bottom to remove again you just pull it off. Also we get in the box a pair of rubber, large rubber feet and if you turn the keyboard over you'll see that it's got a couple of uh, lifty up feet on it. If you don't wish to use the lifty up feet I do suggest put the rubber feet on it just stops the back of the keyboard from sliding around quite so much because there's a couple of rubber tabs on the front but nothing else so there's no rubber ones on the back making contact if you're not using the feet so these are effectively a pair of rubber covers for the two holes at the back so as you can see i've got it set to backlight in white white is the only option there's no fancy effects there's nothing like that there's no software control it is just a usb keyboard it's got a fixed rubber cable all you can literally do with the lighting is turn it on turn it off and then turn the brightness up and down by pressing and holding the function key and one of these f buttons now the f7 and f8 basically turn it, the brightness up and down fast while the f5 and f6 turn it up and down slowly and f9 turns it on and off you will notice that the num lock the scroll lock and the windows key always stay illuminated at maximum what you can do so if you have your scroll lock your number oh also caps lock caps lock is one of the ones that is permanently set up i've probably just done a load of stuff on my computer and the the only gamer thing about this keyboard really well there's two gamer gamery things we'll get to the second one in a second is the fact that if you press the little cherry logo here up by the multimedia keys for pause play forwards and backwards is you can actually disable the windows key handy little addition uh, you can also with the function key you have your volume up down and mute but that is really about it it's not got a massive amount of features and i actually like that about this keyboard it is just a nice simple keyboard the only other gamery thing about it is the font it's not got an officey type font it's got a slightly more modern sort of stylistic font for gamers but that is about it it's just been built as a very nice easy simple keyboard it is German it does what it says on the tin and that is it it's well built it is an all plastic chassis but there's not a massive amount of flex with it it's very well built there's no creaks or anything like that I didn't find there was any issues with it bending while playing it's got obviously ch genuine cherry switches this particular one that I've got here is got brown switches I actually quite like the browns people don't give them enough credit it's effectively a red switch but there's a tactile bump no click like you get with cherry blues but there's a tactile bump to the pressing and i actually quite like it it just gives you a bit of assertion when you know you you know you pressed it so these are cherry browns it is available in a couple of other options second it is also available as a 10 keyless but overall i've been really impressed with it 
It comes in at the, I believe retail price here in the UK is £70. And at £70, bearing in mind this is a genuine Cherry MX switched keyboard, I think it's actually a bit of a bargain. There's really not many options for genuine Cherry switched keyboards at the uh, even at the uh, under hundred pound mark, but at seventy pound, okay, it's not got RGB, but what it is, it's just a really nice, solid keyboard. It's well built. It's been German engineered. It's just it does its job. That is it. That's German engineering at its example. I mean, they've even put German logos on the front of the box. There's not a lot included in the box. Like I said, you get a couple of rubber feet. You do get a wrist rest. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. I find it a bit deep. But there is a rubber. There is a nice wrist rest included. Some people like them. Some people don't. I used to love wrist rests. I stopped using them years ago though. And they do include a little instruction book. But you really don't need it. It gives you a quick guide on the functions that are available when it comes to the volumes, the brightness, and the multimedia keys. And it's just got basically a standard six foot rubber cable. It's not removable or anything like that, but it's a 70 pound keyboard retail. I have seen it a little bit cheaper at other places, but it's just a 70 pound keyboard that's been really well made. I'm actually gonna give it a massive thumbs up. Like I said, I like it. It's plain, simple and done properly. No flashy, no added extras, things like that. They have just gone out and they've just done exactly what is needed and nothing extra. So it is a big thumbs up from Techstream for the Cherry MX 1.0 board. I like it. I'm going to put some links down in the description as to where you can buy one if you want one. And on that note, guys, that's about it for today. It is just a quick video. There's not a lot I can really say about it. It's nice and simple and it works. I don't have anything bad really to say about it. So there we go, guys. So if you've liked this video, big thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, no problems. Comments down below. I always do my best to answer any questions or anything that you may have or any suggestions, anything like that, not a problem. And if you want to see more of me, I'm here every Saturday at 6 p.m. GMT or British Summer Time, whatever we are at the moment. It's British Summer Time at the moment now. Um, so yeah, don't forget to click that subscribe button, click the little notification bell and you'll get a pop-up to say I have posted a video. And on that note, guys, bye for now.